guys, so I know it's been two whole weeks since I last put out a video and my life has just been absolutely insane. So I had a lot of stuff I needed to do and I just didn't have the time or energy to really do any videos. So sorry about that, but hopefully I'm going to be able to kind of get back into my routine of filming this week and everything will be back to normal. That's what I'm hoping for. We're going to be doing boxy charm today for June and I got it a couple days ago and I've been like itching to open it I, I so badly just wanted to open it and be like whatever I'm not gonna film it because I wanted to know what was in here so bad let's just go ahead and do it because I cannot wait any longer so this one they don't have the like little oh god I almost dropped it all on the floor I don't have the little like lululu things. <laughs> they just have this like stuff, which is like more secure. So maybe there's something. There's either a something super breakable, or they're just trying to do something different that maybe will. But I'm liking this because those little things, like they're like Easter grass, get everywhere, and I hate them because I'm still finding Easter grass from my kids' Easter baskets. I don't need to add to the problem with my makeup. All right, the first thing in here is from Artist Couture. Artist Couture? Yes. And it is their Diamond Glow Powder. I think I've heard of this before. I think I've seen people use this on the YouTubes. I can't figure out how to open the box because it's me and I can't open things. Yep, there we go. <gasps> Ooh, it's pretty. Eddie. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous. And, oh! Oh, it's a good thing that wasn't just, like, completely open. So, it's got a sifter, and then it's got this, like, twisty thing so that you can block off the sister in a sister. You can block off the sifter in addition to closing it, which I think is, like, a nice little addition. And then, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this stuff. I can't. I can't. I wish. Oh man. The image that my camera is going to give you is not anywhere near going to give it enough. It's like this beautiful champagne gold. Gold. Champagne gold. And it's got just the most beautiful glitter in it. <sighs> I'm going to use this to death. I am going to use this to death. It's in the shade Illuminati. If you are curious. Next we've got another Ofra liquid lipstick. Which I've gotten one in a BoxyCharm before. And... I really like the formula of these. The one I got before was metallic, so it'll be interesting to see if the formula is different when it's not metallic. This is in the shade... Why is there no shade sticker on here? You know, normally they have the shade sticker? There's no shade sticker. Oh, but there's this little card in the box that says that it is the shade Santa Ana. And also gives you the code BOXY30 for 30% off of Oph at OfraCosmetics.com. So let's give this a little... Ooh, and it chunked up really bad on there. Let's give this a little swatch. Formula still feels really good. That's what the shade looks like. I really like that. So I definitely think I'll get a little bit of use out of that. Next thing we got in here is this Real Her Playbook eyeshadow palette. So this is the same brand as the adorable liquid lipstick and lip pencil that we got a couple of months ago. And unfortunately, as adorable as the packaging was on those... The quality was not so good so we'll see how the eyeshadow is for them 
maybe it will be better because I was really disappointed with the liquid lipstick. It was it was really sticky. It did that thing where it like crumbles, not even crumbles, but like goops up in the corner of your lips and stuff. I do like the lip pencil. I actually use the pencil regularly, but the liquid lipstick I'll probably never use. It just sits there because it's cute. And let's figure out how to open it. I mean, once again, packaging is really nice. It says be your own kind of beauty on it. Okay, so this is what we're working with. It's it is a really nice. It's got these six shades. Kind of like cool neutrals, which is actually what I'm really into, so I'm happy with that. It's got a decent little mirror. Let's see what the actual quality of the mirror is. Oh, it's a pretty nice mirror. So that's nice. Let's take a couple swatches and see how the quality is just from a swatch. I'll play around with it a little later and see what I think. Okay, so these are the swatches I took. And it swatched really well. So this one right here is called Unique. This one's called Fun. And this one's called Strong. There's nothing in the palette that's really like matte. I don't think none of these they're kind of like satins and then kind of more metallic-y shades, like foiled shades. So, so I'll let you guys know what I think about that after I've played with it for a little bit. Next item is a brush. It's another Luxie Beauty brush, which huge fan of all the brushes I've gotten from them. They're so soft. They hold up really well. They work really well. I've been really happy with every one I've ever gotten before. This one, this is the Pro Precision Tapered brush. It's the 640. It's a little bent out of shape from being packaged in such a small box, unfortunately, so I'll probably have to work that out. But I always get really happy when I have like a, when I get in one of these boxes, a, a new brush that I don't actually have one of and this is one that I don't have so this is good last item in the box is this package of is it a package of facial masks or is it just one facial mask I can't tell because if it's just one facial mask, that seems like pretty tiny of an amount of product for how BoxyCharm usually does. So I'm trying to figure out. But anyways, it's a botan botanical botanic fiber facial mask from Beauty Secret. I've heard somebody talk about these before. They said they really, like somebody was saying that they... Oh, it's from BioBell. I don't know. Hashtag beauty secret. Oh, it's a package of several. Okay, I figured it out. It's a package of three. And they are all sheet masks. Which I love. I'm obsessed with sheet masks. Because I'm so busy. I'm always doing things. I don't have time for the whole, like, put a face mask on properly wash it off like that's a lot of work for me with the amount of time that I have in a regular day so when it's a sheet mask and I can just unfold put it on my face take it off done that's a good thing so there are three here this is hashtag beauty secret which moisturizes this one is hashtag I woke up like this um it enhances skin's natural glow I tend to like ones that are supposed to like illuminate. And this one is hashtag primer, 
which enhances radiance, minimizes pores, and evens skin tone. So I'm definitely going to put all these to use probably pretty quickly. So the prices of all the items in the bags, we had the Diamond Glow Powder by Artist Couture, which was $26.99. The Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, which was $19.90. The Eyeshadow Palette, which was $28. The uh, Luxie Beauty Brush, which was $24. And then the three sheet masks were $14.97. So overall, like almost everything on this list was about the same price as the box. So, yes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be back soon with another video for you guys. I love you. Bye.